Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. This video is going to be some recent pickups and my birthday pickups. Yes, I recently celebrated my birthday, got some really awesome stuff from friends and family, and I want to do a video on it. As a little bonus, I also hit up some garage sales and got a couple other cool things that we'll check out. So, to kick off this birthday pickup video, we're actually going to start off with stuff I got from a few garage sales. The day of my birthday, I actually went out, just had a nice dinner for my birthday, spent some time with the family, and of course we saw a couple garage sale signs we had to stop. Well, one we stopped at had this here. It's pretty big. So this is a Xbox One box, but... This person who's a garage sale crossed out the one, put 360, which I kind of th thought was funny. It kind of sucks over the box because I can't get that off. And it did it on every corner. So they wanted to be very clear that it was a 360. Now, if I can show you right here. All of this was 50 bucks. Console and games, 50 bucks. There's nothing really that crazy in it, but the price was just so good that I had to pick it up. Let's move that back. Oh, I should mention this is a Gears of, War, Gears of War Ultimate Edition Xbox One box. So again, too bad they wrote on it. Anyway, what came with it? Well, we got one disgusting 360 controller. We got a bunch of games. Inside here just came with this version of the 360 has a 250 gig hard drive came with a connect and all the hookups and stuff nothing too crazy in there It also came with a second controller so two black controllers which is always nice because I need good controllers for my left left for dead land parties That's the console the sheer amount of games is what really made it worth it so, came with Connect Adventures, Connect Star Wars, they love Connect, Disneyland Connect, Call of Duty Ghosts, Connect Training, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, sorry, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, just always used to saying Modern Warfare, Halo 4, Battlefield 4. Another stack here. We got Skylanders Giants, Skylanders Swamp Force, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, Connect Sports, a sealed copy of Hip Hop Experience for Connect, Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes, Pictionary Ultimate Edition, U Draw Studio Instant Artist. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Star Wars Angry Birds, Just Dance 3 Connect, Just Dance 4 Connect, and the one game that made me really want to buy this, Spider-Man for 360. This is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. This game's decent, I heard. I've been kind of on a Spider-Man game collecting fix lately, so that was awesome. But wait, there's more. Also came with this, which is some kind of like castle Skylanders thing for Spyro's Adventure. It opens up like so, just holds a bunch of different Skylanders. My youngest son, who's five, never really played with Skylanders before, but once we got this home and he tried it out, he was in love. Hold on, there's even more. It also came with this huge bag of Skylanders. It's actually a pretty nice bag. And it's just filled with the portal and like tons of Skylanders. So that was pretty cool. Just tons. He's been having a lot of fun with this. So honestly, the Skylanders alone was worth it just for how much fun he's had. I just wanted Spider-Man. So yeah, all of that for 50 bucks that was quite the deal that was at a garage sale so we went 
and carried on to my birthday dinner, found a couple more garage sales. One of the garage sales, they had some more stuff. In a free bin, they had Monster High Soulmate Roller Maze. It was free, but don't get too excited. It had no game in it. But I thought a, th a free case, why not? They had a Disneyland Connect. It was free. And then they had DVDs for three for five. Insidious and the... Or, sorry. Insidious and Sinister, a combo pack here. It's still sealed. These game, these movies are actually pretty good. Then they had R.I.P.D. This is kind of like a Men in Black ripoff. I really like that one, so I wanted to get it. And then unrated edition of The Ring 2. That was decent at the garage sale. Now, the best thing at another garage sale, it was actually a plant sale. And they were saying plants, plants, plants. I didn't really want to go, but my wife is really into plants and stuff. So we stopped and I didn't expect anything good. But you know what was sitting there? Yeah, this. Paper Mario the Origami King for 45 Canadian dollars. I did not expect to see a Switch game at a garage sale with plants. And it's not like they had lots of games. This was the only video game they had. So my wife picked it up knowing that I was really into it. And she offered 40 and they said, yeah. So I ran out back to the car, got my phone, did an e-transfer because I had no cash on me. And as I'm sending the e-transfer, the guy goes, you know what? Just take it for 30. I'm like, uh, okay. Maybe it's because I had my kids with me and my older boy was like, yeah, that's the one I really wanted. I didn't want to pay full price for it. Paper Mario hasn't had the greatest track record since A Thousand Year Door. So yeah, I definitely didn't want to pay full price for it. But yeah, um, somehow I got it for 30 bucks, which was the score of the day for sure. Kind of a bonus birthday present. All right, one last thing. My friend White Noise posted this and he knew I really wanted it. So I got this for 40 bucks from him. It's the Xbox 360 version of Resident Evil 5, the collector's edition. It's cool because it comes with a Chris figure. It's just a necklace, a patch, steel book, bonus disc, and then this messenger bag. It's not a huge collector's edition, which I like. So it doesn't take up too much space, but that was really cool to grab off my friend and streamer, White Noise. All right, on to the birthday presents. My youngest son, I have to show these just because he's a total daddy's boy and he knows I'm a gamer. He made me some pictures here. He colored this Steve from Minecraft for me. This guy from Minecraft. This really random... Spider-Man thing which is awesome and then this was really strange to see from a five-year-old it's like a Jason minion yeah weird a little bit questionable but he colored all those for me anyone watching that's a parent you just know how special that kind of stuff is to get from your kids my older son Octomaster worked really hard and he made me some perler art for my birthday all for Mario Bros 3 he made me Mario in the boot, the Tanuki Mario, Frog Suit Mario, Raccoon Mario, Mario with a shell, and then Fire Mario. So he worked hard on those. Those are awesome. I had a friend come over for a little birthday celebration and he surprised me with something really cool this twisted metal strategy guide yeah actually this was more of a gay gift um, he did give me that but what he actually meant to give me the main gift was this thing this is a custom 3d printed Nintendo GameCube holder it holds 10 games it is so cool he knows I'm a huge GameCube collector and he got me this so Big shout out to my buddy Tony for that hookup. What's cool is the games actually just slide right in like so. Yeah, you can hold up to 10 games on it. I think this is going to be a great stand for my variants. So again, thanks Tony for that. And before you ask why do I have three copies of this, I'm trying to get enough copies and broadband adapters 
to do a full Mario Kart Double Dash land party. All right, only a couple things left here. These are from my wife and my kids. They got me this Bowser box. This is like one of those gift boxes you see at Walmart or something, but it's all Bowser stuff. And most of you know I'm a huge Bowser fan, so I was super excited to get this. Honestly, I didn't want to open it, but my youngest son just made me open it, so I can't unbox it for the video. However, I can show you what's inside though. So we open it up. Inside, it comes with this swamp stuffy, which is super cool. My youngest son actually started crying because I didn't want to give it to him yet. I told him I gotta hang on to it until the video is done. Came with this Bowser figure. Here's the box for it, this vinyl figure. Apparently it's exclusive. This I was pretty excited for, but then I got him out. Here he is here. Looks okay. The quality is not the greatest, honestly. One thing that really bugs me though, look at these eyes. Doesn't quite look right, does it? So again, not the greatest quality. His collar around his neck is totally messed up. It doesn't even have the white spikes on it, but yeah. A little less qual lesser quality, but I guess cool nonetheless. Move that out of the way. Then it came with this Bowser umbrella. How random. So yeah, Bowser compact umbrella. Then, <clears throat> this was just a little outer sleeve that came in the box. I saved it. Comes with a pair of socks, some wall art, a figure, plush, keychain, duffel bag, and umbrella. Here's the keychain, which I took off. It's just this cool little chain chomp keychain here. And this is actually one of the coolest things in here. It's wall art of the Koopa Kids. Now it's a little confusing because this is a Bowser box, but it has the Koopa Kids. Um, I thought for sure it'd be a Bowser one, but hey, I still think this is cool. And here's a pair of the Bowser socks. And then finally, just this Bowser duffel bag in here. So, cool little gift Bowser box. Definitely awesome for any Bowser fan that out of the way finally a couple more gifts from my wife and my family my wife knew I was looking for this it's perfect dark on the Game Boy Color I love perfect dark on the N64 I always wanted the Game Boy Color version of it so she managed to get that from for me then she got me destroy all humans on the switch I love this game um, I really want it on the switch and my wife never lets me down she got it for me then she got me Skyward Sword HD for the Switch. And she somehow got the bonus pre-order cards too, which is super awesome. I don't know how she got that, but she did tell me I wasn't allowed to get that on release day, so now I know why. Then last but not least, a game that I was really looking forward to picking up, Persona 5 Strikers. It's kind of hard to find actually, and she managed to track it down for me. It's basically a Perso Persona 5 um, hack and slash kind of like Fire Emblem Warriors or Hyrule Warriors I guess or it's a beat em up not too sure I haven't played it yet but I heard it was pretty decent so really excited about that all right so yeah those three switch games and I almost consider Paper Mario a birthday present too because I got it so cheap at a garage sale but some great additions to the switch collection and that's it for my birthday slash recent pickups lots of neat stuff here Really happy to share it with everybody. I'm gonna probably play Persona 5 Strikers here first out of all those games, so. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on social media. The information is in the description. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I am the console collector. And until the next video, happy gaming.